The marathon as we know it is about to change. If you know anything about professional marathons, then you already know the name Kipchoge. He is the current world record holder in the marathon and has held this title since 2018. He made his professional marathon debut at 28 years of age with a time of two hours, five minutes, and 30 seconds. More recently though, he is known for trying to break the two hour barrier in the marathon. Amazingly enough, he did technically accomplish breaking a two hour marathon, but he had not only a pacing team, he had a pacing car and a laser showing exactly where he needed to be to break this time. And there's a lot of uh, interesting uh, takes with that. The car was providing draft, the team was providing draft, and it's something that he hasn't been able to replicate without all of those things and in an official race. Nonetheless, Kipchoge is still king of the marathon, for now at least, and that is because of Kelvin Kiptum, who may have just changed everything we know about the marathon with his professional debut. This man made his professional debut about a week ago in the Valencia Marathon, where he ran a time of two hours, one minute, and 50 three seconds, a mere 45 seconds from breaking the world record, not breaking the debut world record. He did that in this run, but he almost shattered the world marathon record in his first professional marathon. The 23-year-old not only ran a debut world record, but he ran the fourth fastest marathon time ever recorded. Only two people have ever run faster times than what Kiptum did. Kipchoge and Kininisa Bekele, I'm sorry if I butchered that, but they're the only two people who have ever run faster times than what Kiptum did in his debut. So I assumed this wasn't normal. I mean, Kipchoge didn't even break the world record until he was like 33 or 34 years old, and this kid is only 23. He's got so much more room to improve. So I wanted to compare Kiptum's debut time to the debut times of other great marathons. So what I did is I took the 10 fastest marathons of all time, found their debut times, and then put them next to their best marathon times to kind of figure out what the average was of their improvement. As you can see from that list, basically everybody improves their marathon time, some of them more so than others, but if you exclude kind of the large improvements of like 15 minutes or so and just take the smaller improvements around the five minute mark or so, you get an average of two minutes and 36 seconds of improvement off of their initial debut marathon. So if we take this improvement time into consideration and the fact that Kiptum is only 23 years old, then I think it's safe to project around a two to three minute improvement, which would land him around a marathon time of one hour, 59 minutes and 17 seconds. So to end this video, I just wanna say that I don't know if this is accurate at all. It's just kind of my own mind piecing things together and also kind of dreaming of the sub two hour marathon finally being achieved without the use of gimmicks or pacing cars and all these things. I'm really rooting for Kiptum to break this and do it soon or maybe he does it in 10 years from now or maybe he never does it and somebody else does. But I think that day is coming when the two hour marathon is finally defeated.